There's a lot of theories going around that Rosie is a fallen angel, and honestly, I think they're onto something. All the angels that we know of so far have white hair and have darker skin once they've fallen. Also, the black feathers on her neck would indicate that she was an exorcist. So, all the exorcists are basically clones of each other, and for what we've seen so far, if baggy and loot, they all have pretty short necks. So, I will say, Rosie's neck reminds me of Sarah, though it could be a coincidence. There's two other factors to her being an angel that I'm surprised nobody has talked about. The little spots on her cheeks, they remind me of Lucifer and Charlie. While there are several characters with that sort of design, like Vinzy, there's something else Rosie and Lucifer have in common. If you look at Rosie's hat at just the right angle, you will notice that there is a snake circling a skull and some roses. There's no way that could have been a coincidence. This may be a stretch, but what if Rosie and Lucifer were related to each other. When she was talking to Charlie about her relationship issues with Vaggy, she says it's hard to tell somebody that you once did something that you weren't proud of. While she gives off this look as if she's reminiscing about something that she might have done in the past. As a side note, I don't really trust Rosie all that much. In Hello Rosie, she sees Alistair and Charlie and just acts as if she hasn't seen him in forever, asking where Alistair has been. Now that would have made sense since he's been gone for seven years. However, both Rosie and Alistair were at the Overlord's meeting. They were having a conversation with each other, though you couldn't hear what they were talking about. Also, in Ready For It, they sing about how powerful she is, just like Lucifer, and if they stick with her, they'll be on the winning side. If Rosie truly is an angel, what is it that she wants with Charlie? If I had a guess, I'd say she wanted to expand Cannibal Town. She did offer to make a deal with Alistair in regards to eight blocks of territory, and I think he would have taken it if he wasn't already obligated to help Charlie. There's one more thing that I just find extremely odd about her. So she's the overlord of the cannibal. She agreed to help Charlie protect the hotel, the very thing that could literally put her out of business. Not to mention cause a food shortage. But why? What is Rosie getting out of this? She didn't even get to eat an angel. Meanwhile, everybody from Cannibal Town was at the fight. Part of me thinks that she's just trying to get on Charlie's good side. And possibly use that to her advantage in the future. I mean, she is friends with Alistair. Man, I have so many questions and I just can't fucking wait for season two. I just wish a new hell of a boss would show up already. Oh, but Rosie, a girl with a strange kind of humor. Stupidly took in a rumor Making her think that she'd lost Double-crossed by a man who was dear